All right, well, it's Sunday, and uh, we're going to get busy and try to get these things painted here today. Uh, let them set overnight with the feather fill, and uh, let them go through a baking cycle on about 100 degrees in the form of this little heater right here uh, inside a small utility room with the doors closed, and uh, so hopefully they're good to go. Did a little sanding on this one, and uh, it's blocking out pretty nice, so... We'll get them sanded up and uh, come back and show you what it looks like when we get ready to paint. All right, so what's this box that's been over in this corner with all the dust on it? Yep. This is the paint gun that Darren and Andrea from another paint, another option paint and body hooked me up with, gave me a killer deal on it. So, uh, and they've got good prices and good deals on all, everything they sell. So check them out at YouTube channel VW Darren. Anyway, uh, finally, after having this gun for about six months, we're going to get to use it. And um, it's, uh, it's a touch-up gun, you know, with a three-ounce cup, but it's uh, really, uh, the body of it's pretty big, actually. And uh, this is a Segola Mini Extreme. It's got a 1.0 tip, and it is made in Spain. So uh, we're all set up over here. Just going to paint the fenders and this part of the motorcycle uh, engine cover and uh, so anyway we'll turn it on uh, when we get mixing up and come back and show you uh, what it looks like. Alright we're going to make a little paint mixing video here. I've been shaking this up some. One of the things that uh, I wish I could do better is get the right amount of paint for what I'm painting just enough so you have a little bit left over but you don't run out and you don't make too much you know where you gotta dump a bunch of paint away and this is single stage so it's not like regular base coat where you can you know dump reduce base coat back into a separate can and you know keep it it's pretty much gonna catalyze and set up and yeah that'll be it so this stuff is going to mix four to one to one half, so four parts paint, one part hardener, and a half part reducer. And uh, again, this is the hot rod flats, single stage rear thing. All right, I've been shaking it up, so I think it's pretty well mixed. And uh, as you can see, we got a mixing cup here. And I put a little line because sometimes I'll put the paint in and it'll get twisted a little bit and I'll put hardener in on a different ratio. And I know that's a shock to everybody, but it has happened. So, uh, and this is a full can and I hate doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and just go for it and see what we end up with here. And then uh, I'm gonna try to, I think I need to mix about up to about four so that's what I'm going to go with and we'll see where I end up with. I think that's good right there. It'll be about three. So you can see I've got the paint mixture up to about three. It's, it's sloshed up a little bit higher than that, but it's on about three. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'm just going to paint the fenders, the seat pan, and one of the motorcycle covers. So the hardener, we'll take it up to the three also. I'm going to go just above it because I think the other was just above it. And a half part of this, so we'll go halfway between the three. I should be going to the three, so we're going to go between halfway between where we are now and the three. About like that. Man, that is some serious blue paint. All right, we'll get this mixed up and uh, bring you back when we get ready to spray it. Spray it.
All right, all finished up. Got the gun all taken apart and cleaned, and uh, man, it really cleaned up good. A lot of times the cups and the way they're designed, especially in the lid and all, um, you know, it's the paint kind of sticks in certain areas and it's hard to get out, but this one really cleaned up nicely. And um, I guess also everybody probably uh, spends more time cleaning a brand new gun than one that's a year old or two years old, but anyway, it's good as new now. And uh, here's the, uh, the parts, oh man. This is uh, this is not what I had in mind. I was thinking this color was a little more blue than this, so and a lot less pastel than this. But it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna go with it. it. It is the hot rod flat, so it's got kind of the the flat look to it, or eggshell, or whatever. Um, so uh, yeah, that's a wrap. We'll uh, come back and show you more later on. Uh, next week as we make progress on the frame which is what we're going to start working on next.